So I thought it was time to make a very quick tutorial on how to make a cheap do-it-yourself slug trap that's highly effective. All we need is a two liter bottle, a pie pan, and a couple of tools. To start out, what I like to do is I like to make a mark around the two liter bottle and what I've done is I, I usually make the mark up um, from this line here about the depth of my marker and I put a line and I start and I make that line all the way around the two liter bottle. Now uh, I've made some, I've, I've played around with this a little bit and I found out that um, making holes, access holes for the slugs to get into this container uh, it works fairly good to make these triangle holes. Now I chose to make a triangle hole rather than a circle hole with a drill because it gives you more flat surface at ground level uh, for the slugs to get into and it's structurally stable. Another reason I chose to make the triangle hole is if water runs down the side of this it's going to flow down the side, hit the angle and roll across uh, the side of the triangle and down to the dirt rather than um, uh, falling in and dripping inside the container. So that's what I have so far. Next step is to cut out the triangles. Now be careful with this. It is a little tough sometimes, but what I've found is cutting the top two sides first and then reaching my fingers in here and cutting out the bottom. And I repeat this all the way around. Now it doesn't have to look pretty. We're not having a beauty contest here. And the slugs certainly don't care. Alright, <clears throat> so now I've cut triangle holes all the way around this, and I don't know how many I have, seven or so. Now I don't, I haven't counted these, and I've made multiples, uh, multiple traps, and I'm certain that I have more than, uh, I have some variation among them. It doesn't matter how it's done. The goal is, is that you allow, um, you maintain the integrity of the bottle so that it's not going to uh, crumble, but you give the, the slugs as much access to be able to get in and get into the beer as what you possibly can. Now for the second part of this. Slugs love to have shade. They don't like to be in the sun and that's one of the reasons why they, they hang out at the base of your plants and, and crawl up your plants and eat the, eat the greens. And so what I've chose to do to make shade is to use this aluminum pie, plant, pie pan and uh, screw it to the top. So all we have to do is cut a hole in here, and the best way that I've found to do that is to uh, put your put your two liter bottle down like this, draw around it, and then cut it out. Now, uh, what I what I choose to do is not cut out the circle but rather cut it into a pie shape and let me move the camera and then I'll show you what I, what I mean by that. Alright so for the pie shape that I was talking about um, I just cut from one side across to the other and do this six times or three, three times, three cuts um, six pieces of pie in the middle here fold them up. Now that leaves us with the ability to put it on top and rather than folding all these little tabs out of the way I like to screw them into the cap like this. So I decided to put this one in my tomato bed over here and, uh, 
and I can't find my garden spade. So we're gonna have to do this by hand. Imagine one of the girls took off with my spade. That's not good, but we'll make do. So what you wanna do is get this set up so that the top of the dirt level comes to uh, just right, right below, about a centimeter or so below the line that we drew that's the base of the triangles, which is the access holes, or the feeding holes. So I have that dug out. I bought a bunch of cheap beer. Fill it up, set it in, and that's all there is to it. Now I just backfill this dirt around it so that they have easy access to all of the triangle holes that we cut in the side of the container. And then to refill this thing, it's real easy. You got to do it every day. It, well, in between one and two days, depending on how hot it is. You don't want um, your slugs to rot inside because if they do, then they're repulsed by their own uh, rotting smell and um, they'll run the other way. If you found this video to be helpful, informative, or otherwise entertaining, don't forget to subscribe and as always, remember to smile for a stranger today. You'll both be glad you did.